You don't need glasses to enjoy this video in 3D. Read the description for more information. Now apologies if I suck in this game, I haven't played it for years. Nvidia says that the 3D implementation in this game is not recommended, which is really bad because some of the ones that say that they're good or excellent, I can't play because they're so bad. However, this one is actually quite good. There are slight problems with the shadows as there are in most games, and I think at some points things stick out of the screen too much, but for most of the time it's really good. As with most third person games that I've tried, the 3D is far more obvious because the eye points are further apart. I prefer this. I have to say I've forgotten just how good this game is. You're trying to pull a joke on me. Freak me out? It's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on battery. It's kind of like a movie, but not in a bad way. This, on the other hand, is a movie and will be in 2D. So let's just skip that. Not entirely what just I missed there, but it proves a good point about this out. game. At some points you feel it's so sunny and beautiful looking that you'll never be in danger again, only for this to happen and to suddenly be in a terrifying forest at night again. In my opinion, this is the perfect sort of game to have in 3D. It's a bit of a shame that the middle bit of the flashlight isn't rendered properly in 3D. Aside from that, it's very convincing. In my opinion, 3D makes this game feel claustrophobic. You've got all these trees and bushes trying to get in the way of the camera, and you find yourself dodging them all as you go through the forest. I recall driving cars around when I first played this game. Unfortunately, it's been a while since then, so that's why I'm acting like a total noob. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Still, a run through the forest is good to show the 3D. Okay, I'm gonna come clean with you. I don't like horror games. I never have. I could never play the Dino Crisis games because the controls were so bad, as soon as I saw an enemy, I couldn't run away in time. I just got too... too worked up. This game, on the other hand, is okay because it's more of a thriller than a scary game. Plus, you can actually kill these enemies, as you'll see in a bit. I mean, with this sort of new technology, you have to accept a certain number of glitches. It's quite common on games for the uh, the far left and right side of the screen to have things popping up. I think you saw a bit of this at the beginning of this video. No, not that one. The actual YouTube video you're watching. But you have to accept those sort of glitches. But you have to accept those kind of glitches simply because the field of view is slightly higher in 3D than it is in normal mode. And let's face it, the developers of this game never expected it to be played in 3D, so we can't really blame them for not thinking about it. It's almost like those old games before widescreen was available. How were they supposed to know that screens would stretch and get a bit wider? I think it was around 2005 that that happened. So the notable exceptions are Half-Life 2 and Operation Flashpoint, which are available in widescreen, though I think it may be because of the extensive patching that those games have had. Operation Flashpoint was designed to be a military sim, so I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't designed for every single resolution ever. Here we are inside again, which I think really does showcase the 3D well. As nice as mountains and things like that are, it doesn't show the 3D too well. It's more about things sort of flying in your face and stuff like that. A building like this does it perfectly. And it makes me wonder how Nvidia can force 3D in these sorts of games. It makes me wonder if Nvidia deliberately went round to every single game and deliberately chose the viewpoints for 3D. That being said, I'm still not sure why third person games like this look so much better than first person games in 3D. I really think that Nvidia could solve this problem simply by letting you choose how far the viewpoints are apart. It does to some extent, but I think you should have unlimited control. If you want to have the eyepieces a mile apart, feel free. It'll mess up the graphics, but it's your fault then, isn't it? It would really make it look better in games where the viewpoints aren't far enough apart, like in Skyrim. Or most first person games. Anyway, it's about to reach an action part of the game and I don't want to spoil it all for you just by talking all the way throughout. I think the ghosts aren't rendered completely properly, but it doesn't matter in this game because they're meant to look like dreams, so if anything I think it adds to the effect. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope this has taught you a bit about 3D and how good it is in Alan Wake. Enjoy the battle and remember, it's been a while since I last played this game. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only for those
prisoners. Who? Purchase up, Mark. Is she? License, no bay! From Mark Ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never! Two bears and wolves never approach any other world closer than 25 yards. That must be leashed. Yeah, at all times. <laughs> 